Yes. I have one more thing. Okay. Can you this? It was here the whole time. Okay. So a little bit of backstory for this. Okay. Um, I I have uh, my birthday's on July. Ooh, yes. Uh, is in July. Happy birthday. Which is yeah, it blew bladed. Um, no early. So it's been. <laughs> Yo, you're really on top of that shit, man. Wow. I know, right? Hey, thanks, man. Where's my gift? Um, and my friend Allison, shout out Allison, uh, she gave me this, which is one top 100 movies. So this is definitively the top 100 movies of all time when this poster was made. Okay. And it's a scratch-off poster. So basically, if I've seen the movie, I scratch it off, and then I scratch off all the ones I've seen... And when I watch a new one, I scratch it off. Mm -hmm. And I want to go over this poster and see how many each of us have seen. Okay. Uh, it's going to be less for me. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. <laughs> I think so. So, yeah. Oh, wow. I'm thing. excited. We have a quarter. We have a quarter. We can fucking scratch this shit. You need something to lean it on oh, to scratch. Shit. Here, turn around. I'll scratch it on your back. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was willing. Right I got a book. Shout out. Uh, Did, Did you, you know? know? Just a bunch of interesting facts. No, no free, bit of set design. No free sponsorship. You don't see my vitamins. That's how I hit it. Okay, let's see. Let's go over. Okay. I literally... Shawshank, Re Shawshank Redemption? Never caught that one. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. We gotta un unroll this a sec. Um, roll it the other way. Shout out. Is it in any particular physics. order? You know what? Uh, it's probably like... Yo, it's probably like the fucking... IMDb top 250 in a fucking <laughs> Honestly, sense. Yeah. Literally. Okay. Cool. So let's see. This Shawshank Redemption seen it. Yeah, there you go. This is gonna be this is gonna be a terrible call out for me. I'm like, Wait, what? Oh, this isn't a quarter, it's not really working out. Oh, uh, my wallet's not here. Oh, my wallet is here. This is my bedroom. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> I heard dimes work. Did you ever hear about that? Dimes work better. Really? Because, the quarters? Uh, yeah, because it has better grooves. Was it a dime or a ni nickel? I don't know. Nickel's yeah, bigger. Dime. dime works really well. It, this is an awful scratch-off poster. This is what the fucking situation is. What's going on? Is it just... Yeah, do you see this? Okay, let me fucking show you. This is an awful <laughs> gift. <laughs> Fuck you, Allison. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> what? Wait, no, but is there anything the under that? Hey, man. Wait, maybe it's like... Hey, man. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Do I need a fucking... Knife? <laughs> no, I don't think that would be good to take the paper. Oh, my God. I'm gonna cut this shit up. What is supposed to be this under there? This fucking sucks. Okay, it's like a little graphic. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna... I'm definitely gonna put this on my wall. <laughs> Yeah, this really worked out well. <laughs> what a great little fucking... Look at this shit. Look at this shit. <laughs> Do you even see what's going on in this? Well, I don't know. That's, it's this just blue. Sucks. It's just blue. It could be... It could be Aladdin. For all I know, is Aladdin <laughs> on this? Oh my god. I guess I'll just read him out. What? what? I, th I thought this was going to be a little quaint. Like, oh, I guess I'll scratch off a... I can't even scratch him off. Let's just read him, I guess. I guess I'll just read them. Holy okay. Fuck. Um, sorry. Dude. Composure regained. Bro. Oh, like Austin's just like, uh, what's what's in the bargain bin <laughs> that they fucking rejected from the Amazon shopping list? Josh and Redemption seen it. No. Nope. Godfather seen it. Nope. Oh, you haven't seen the Godfather. I haven't seen the Godfather. Oh, that's a good one, man. That's one that I'm like, I want to put aside a day and just watch every Godfather movie. Oh, don't watch the third one. Well, I actually haven't seen the third one, but I heard it's like not that great. Mm, okay. Well, you know what? Because the thing is, is like if you're gonna invest so much time watching movies, just watch the first two. Because it's like that alone is like five hours. Right. I like I love the first Godfather. I think that's mm -hmm. um very parallel with the the second one. A lot of people like the second one better, but I'm 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 actually a bigger fan of the first one. The Dark Knight, never heard of, course. of it. Of course. Pulp Fiction, never heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Schindler's List. I haven't seen Schindler's List, oh, actually. Oh, man, dude. But I know that it's famous for, it. like, purely... I, I've seen a lot of, like, camera studies of it. Yeah, uh, dude. Oh, yo, Sh Schindler's List is fucking, like... Uh, it's a gut punch, for sure. Mm. Lord of the Rings, never heard of it. Yep. Uh, Leon the Professional. I've actually never heard of it. What? Oh, really? No. Oh, no, that's a good one. Uh, by the way, I have seen every one that I've named off so far. I will, <laughs> I will, when I do get to one I haven't seen, I will stop myself. 
you imagine? I've seen all of these, and I just fucking threw out the poster. Well, <laughs> um, Leon the Professional is about is about a uh, uh, <laughs> is a French assassin mm-hmm. hitman. Okay, and uh, I forgot why, but this little girl, she's like fucking a ten or something, eleven, played by Natalie Portman. Uh, comes along on oh, a so ride. Oh, this is an older movie. Uh, yeah, it's like ninety. It doesn't say the year. This poster sucks. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's like ninety three or something yeah. like that. Um, yeah, she like comes along on this hitman's ride and kind of just shoves herself into his life, and he's like a little hesitant to it, but they kind of grow a relationship as it goes on. Makes sense. It's a pretty nice movie. Twelve Angry Men. I have seen the original Twelve Angry That's Men. That's kind of. Your kind of movie, man, if I ever yeah. did, uh, see one. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, I love lawsuit drama or courtroom dramas. Yeah, very good on uh, Although, politics and how talking it out can change your mind and how uh, evidence really changes. Not not the section of the courtroom that you usually see movies based on. Usually very you true. see the trial, but that's, yeah. that's the back room. Yeah, that's, uh, to be honest, a very great concept and played out ingeniously. Forrest Gump. Never heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> Fight Club. Never heard of ah, shit. I'll bleep that out. Nice. Um, the Matrix. Oh, Matrix 4 is coming out. Matrix 4 excited? is coming excited out. excited about that? You see the trailer for that? I am really excited yeah, for that, actually. I'm kind, kind of, of excited. I wasn't too sold on the trailer, but the more I watch it, I'm like, this could be good. Yeah. I think, I think the, for the most part, I'm cautiously optimistic about this, it. My big thing is that um, the original Matrix as the poster says, is a great, great movie. Yeah, um, as and then this shitty fucking poster. It's one of the, it's the top it's hundred. Top hundred. Um, oh, but poster. the second and third Matrix movies are... Little less. Little less. We just say a little less. My, my hope is that the fourth will be, make me more... Return to form. Be more return to form. It also make me look more kindly on the, true. the second and the third. Like if they do it properly and play it right, I'm like, okay. Well, you know what? If if the second and third is what it took to get to here, yeah, that's what I want it to be. No, actually, oh, okay. Matrix Four is actually just a continuation of just the first movie, much like the Halloween. <laughs> yeah, 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 splits <laughs> off. Imagine completely. they're just like, yeah, fuck that. Um, Star Wars. Never heard of it. Seven. I have heard of Seven, but I'm trying to remember if I've seen it. If I have, it was a long time ago. Seven's great. I actually rewatched it recently, and mm-hmm. that's a movie that gets better every time you see it. I do think, I don't know if it's one of the best 100 movies of all time, but very it may good. be. Very well, maybe. It's a very well made movie, very thrilling, suspenseful, great I have, movie. I have two movies in mind, and I want them to be on this list. Anyways, keep going. Okay, okay, fair enough. City of God. Don't this know is, it. This actually. is a Brazilian movie that I have seen, actually. And uh, it's Brazil, right? If it's not, don't don't sue me. If it's not, praise in Brazil. I think it is. Um, it's basically about this um, kind of multiple points in this boy's life growing up, and he's involved oh, in a kind I of bad situation. He's a photographer. Yes. He wants to be, and it kind of transitions. It's flashbacks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I do know. I think it. it's okay. more linear than that. Actually, it's more yeah. just like this is how he was as a kid. In this right. Series, okay. Got teenager. it. Very good movie. Very very good movie. Inception. Never heard of it. Well, Inception's my favorite movie of all time. <laughs> One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I know it. Have not seen it. You know, you know, this is a this is a deep cut right here. This is a movie that will make you fucking hate the the villain. Oh, yo, you like? There's no more one fucking unlikable character than that than that. Goddamn bitch! <laughs> I said it. That goddamn bitch. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. Um, The Lion King classic the prestige i haven't seen the prestige uh, <laughs> Everybody, uh... <laughs> that's the one moment prestige bro uh, i know oh, bro. Uh, this is this 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 is uh... no, i'm cutting it short no <laughs> um we're getting through this yeah we have like fucking a lot of movies to i know a lot about the prestige okay the usual suspects yes shutter island I have never seen Shutter Island because it scared me so much when I was a kid, honestly. No. Okay. You want to hear something? Shutter Island? Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I was actually looking at Shutter Island. I was looking for it online recently. I want to watch it because it feels very much so like something I would enjoy. However, I was a dumb kid at one point. And okay. there's a movie, and I can't remember what it's called. Ooh, I'm the best at this. The, yeah. Nicolas Cage. Okay. Goes to an island. 
okay. to find his daughter. Wicker Man? Wicker Man. Um, I hate Wicker Man. <laughs> it's a bad okay. movie. I don't like it. Uh, if you like Wicker Man, good no, not the base. Not the base. Yeah. Um, I watched I haven't that. Seen it. I, actually I, haven't I seen saw it. it on TV. I think my parents were watching it, and I was not in the room because mm. it was a scary movie, and I was young, and I didn't like scary movies. I walked in for the ending where he dies, yeah. and and it just scared oh, shit, the hell out of me. For some reason, in my brain, Shutter Island was what that movie was called. Oh. I don't know how it got yeah, there, yeah. but I was always Sh- like... Sh- Sh- Shutter Man Island. Shutter Man, Wicker Eye Man Sh- Island. Man, Wicker Man, And I was Wicker like, Band. Shutter Island. I was like, anytime anyone brought up, I was like, no, I don't want to see that. I hated it when I was young. I've come to realize that's not the case, and it's Leonardo DiCaprio, and I want to see it Hey, now. it is a great movie. Okay, okay. I wa- I, You know, hey, a well, little strangely enough, it's almost in conjunction to that story. Um... I remember we watched Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief in theaters. And yeah. I'm like, hey, that was great. I love that movie. Because I, I, I read the book and I love the book. And I was a kid. You know, you yeah, yeah, everything for sure. back then. And it's a decent movie. It it's, fine. it's fine. Yeah. And then my mom and sister were like, we want to watch something else. We want to oh. we want to sneak into a theater real quick. So like, um, I hope I'm not incriminating them. But <laughs> they're just like, we want to watch something else. And then they're like, oh, Shutter Island's out. And I was like, shut. I just want to go home, man. I just want to go home. And then they were like, no, we're watching Shutter Island because we just fucking sat through Percy Jackson and the lightning <laughs> thing. And I was like, fuck. And I don't know. It's like the theater was so cold. I was hungry. I was like fucking just so comfortable the whole time. But I watched like most of the movie. Like I was like, I got, I watched, I caught like half and I, I spoiled the ending for myself because like ultimately I didn't, I didn't watch the movie. And then years later, maybe six or seven years later or whatever it was, um, I actually watched the movie. And it's a great movie. Yeah. Yeah, I recommend it. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> also, uh, real quick, have you seen the sequel to Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief? It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Did you see the CGI on the- I can't wait for the show. I hope the show's you, you, good. You know what's funny? I have this weird thing of being like, I wonder when they're going to fucking make a Percy Jackson show. And yeah. then the next day, they're like, they're making a Percy Jackson show. Like, there's no indication of that happening. And I don't know. It's just a weird connection in the universe. The Green Mile. Oh, I think I did see the Green Mile, but that was a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, yeah, true, great. I haven't seen it in a very long time either. Yeah, but it, I remember it being good. Yes, Saving Private Ryan, another Tom yep. Hanks. Absolutely. How many Tom Hanks movies? One of them? Most of them. They're all Tom Hanks. Seen these top top movies. We have Forrest Gump. Yeah. We have Saving Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan. So two so far. And no, he's in uh, the Green Mile. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep so a Tom was, Hanks. Can we keep a track. Tom Hanks? Can we? Hey. Can we keep a Tom Hanks little tally? Yeah, you got it. I'm, okay. I'm on it already. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. He, oh, he wasn't the Dark Knight. He was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. Okay, that's it. Uh, Back to the Future. Class- oh, classic. Classic. I love Back classic. to the Future, man. I watched and, that the other day. You know, day. one where the trilogy kind of holds up. Like yeah, I, I sure. watched the second and the third. And I'm like. I you like know, those. the third one used to be my least favorite, but yeah. like the second and the third one are kind of on par with each yeah. other a little they, bit. They, I mean, little they go together kind of. Yeah, you they know? do. And you know what? The second one wasn't as great as I remembered it, but it's still it's still a very fun ride. Yeah, it's and fun. And the third one's a very solid movie, too. Up. Very near and dear to my heart. <laughs> I was like, we didn't even have to say anything. Yeah. But yeah, no, I was great. And especially the fucking first like 10 minutes. Oh I mean, the, the although I, I know some people who would debate that the first 10 minutes is a masterclass yeah. in cinema and then the rest yeah. of it is actually not as good. I get... No, it's true, though. It is. It is true, though. And it's not that the rest is bad. It's still very good and gets you. But those first 10 minutes, it's very hard to live up to that. It is, uh, but I think it did a pretty good job. Yeah. I think I think the first 10 minutes is like a Disney Pixar short. Almost, yeah. And then and then there's a, just an, an extension of a movie. And then there's a movie yeah. afterwards. Which is pretty fun. Snatch. I have not seen Snatch. Oh, watch Snatch. Okay. I'm going to, you know, I might give you this poster. <laughs> you, might, you might need a little more than me. Instead of scratching it off, which doesn't work, you can just put a sticker that works. on it. If you Because this is an abom- goddamn <laughs> abomination. <laughs> Fuck you, Allison. No, um, Gladiator. Yep. Yeah, my roommate hasn't seen that. We're all like, Gladiator is one of my watch Gladiator. Gladiator is probably one of my favorite movies ever. Oh yeah, I love Gladiator. I like Gladiator. It's a good time. Uh, it's just I love very Roman medieval culture. Okay. I just it's just my vibe. Anyways, yeah. okay. <laughs> uh, Life is beautiful. No, this goddamn movie, man, broke my goddamn heart. Mm. Broke my goddamn heart because you know what I realized about this movie, which is crazy. It's set in the Holocaust, which is already. Uh. Uh, 
And there was a kid in there. Ah. Uh, in a concentration camp. Yeah. But you know what the fucked up thing about this movie is? The mm-hmm. first half is like a rom-com. Okay. And then the second half is just like, oh, they're fucking in a holocaust. The crazy thing about this movie, which like, I think it just, it, it, it didn't really disturb me, but I was like, that's, a, this is fucking crazy. A kid will see this movie completely differently than an adult seeing this movie. Because they will understand what's going on. And a kid will see it as like, oh, this is a funny movie. Like, this is fine. You know, oh, they're in a situation and oh, this happens, this happens, blah, blah, blah. But as an adult, you're like, oh, but this happens yeah. too. And this is where they actually are, you know? Mm-hmm. So, like, that movie. Yikes. If you ever watch Life is Beautiful, look out for that, you know, the mm. kind of perspective there. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, another fucking Holocaust movie, The Pianist. Actually, you know what? Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's technically... I think it's also kind of a Nazi movie. Kind of a Nazi movie as well. Yeah. That was three in a row right there. The Pianist. I don't know The Pianist. No, I know The Pianist. I do know it. I, I have not seen it, but I know it. It's a good one. It's, uh, it's fucking like... Uh, the Shining. Another Nazi movie. Oh. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh my goodness. It's just, re- it's just re- revealed. It's just like it was actually... And the subtext was... <laughs> You know the blood coming coming from the elevator? Nazis. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. Everything. Uh, um, American Beauty. Oh, American Beauty is one that I know, but I would, was always kind of intimidated to watch. I think, you, I think you, you'd like, I yeah? think you'd like American okay. Beauty. I think you would. Um, uh, Amelie? 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 No. Amelie? Am- Amelie? 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 I think that's it. I think you got it. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty good. I think I, I think I've heard of it. That's um, pretty good. It's like very, uh, in some senses, style over substance. Okay. Some of the movie, but it's also pretty good substance too. The Big Lebowski. Yeah, yeah. that is one. Of, if not, maybe my favorite comedy movie. I yeah. love that movie. Oh, it's such a good movie. It's I just, mean, I like to just go vibe. back and rewatch the bowling scene, especially just mm. just the bowling scene. I that's that's my specifically the bowling scene where. Uh, He's licking the bowling ball? No, where he pulls up the gun. Oh, that movie, yeah. That, I don't know, that was my favorite part. I love that scene so much. You, 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 you counted as a fucking whatever. Okay, You man. stepped over the line. You stepped over the you line. You never step over the line. I'm calling the cops. This is what happened. I know it's a separate scene, but this is what you happen when you fuck a stranger in the ass. <laughs> it's great. It's great. And very, it's endlessly quotable. Very jarring to go to, if don't, if you watch it anywhere near in tandem with Monsters, Inc. Yeah, it's very true. You're like, why am I so confused right now? Sully? Yeah. Wally. Yeah. Yeah. Three Idiots. Now, that is actually the first movie I haven't seen, I've heard about. Okay. Um, It's like an Indian movie. Okay. So, I, um, I don't I don't know anything about that movie. This right, is, fair enough. Hey, hey, guys. I haven't seen that movie. If wow. I was to scratch off all, uh, so far I haven't seen Clockwork Orange, but I don't really care. And I haven't seen Three Idiots. All right. Well. How's the uh, Tom Hanks counter going? Three. Three? Toy Story. Okay, four. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Toy Story is my favorite movie of all of time. All, ta- all time. Yeah, it's tied with one other that I'm still waiting for to show up on this list. Oh, so that was the one other movie that you wanted. Actually, to... no. I oh, I wasn't still two. I wasn't sure if Toy Story would be on this, but there's still two that yes. I, I want to okay, be on the list. I'm very curious. This is this is interesting to see if it'll appear. Mm. I like Toy Story two more. I'm gonna be honest. I do too. You know what's funny enough? I. Well, I thought you said Toy Story. Was I, gonna, are you betraying? The, I'm fucking sorry, betray. <laughs> I, 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 I love the whole Toy Story oh, franchise absolutely, absolutely. personally. Uh, I want to ask you how you would rate them because mm-hmm. I'll be honest, I have a specific way, and it may surprise you. Yeah, and it I think mine you. will surprise you as well. Actually, two, four, one, three. Okay, two, three, one, four. Fair enough. And uh, so we like two. Two is very good. Two is probably the peak. Two's, yeah, two is. Um, three. You, that's your bottom? Pe- a lot of people, yes, this is my least favorite Toy Story, but very close. I uh, mean, they're all amazing. They're all very good. The reason I love 3 the most, I think, for two reasons. One, I love a heist movie. Mm-hmm. I love a heist movie. But It is I, great. You know what? I think the I reason know. I love it the most. Maybe Toy Story 1 is my least favorite. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, no, but it's not, though. But it's, it's not. not. It's so hard. It's so hard. It's like a 9.8 and a 9.9 yeah. and a 9.75. It's like, fuck. I think with Toy Story 3, I love seeing everyone. And I mean, all the characters work together. Three? Yes. Yeah. Because that's when you get about four is you have a little less of yeah and stuff exactly which makes me a little sad but I still love four. 
I do love four. I think the it, it, made me, it, it, it for some reason like Toy Story three did pretty much make me cry, but Toy Story four I don't know what about it was. It did make me cry. No, it, it did make like, me cry as well. Like him saying goodbye, I was like, man, fuck. Ugh. I was like, oh. Two thousand one, a space odyssey. Uh, another one that I think I saw a long time ago. Yeah, like my parents. Dude, that that movie's so fucking. Like, it's long, man. It's really long. I may have fallen asleep while I watched it with my parents. <laughs> Yeah, you probably did. Um, because every shot goes on for so long. But like, listen, it's a good movie. Ba, I, I fa- a lot, yeah, it's ba, a- ba, ba. 2001. Yeah, probably my experience with 2001 and my knowledge of it comes more from pop culture references to it 100%. than actually having seen the whole movie. Yeah, hundred percent. Super influential, you know. And like, there's there's a shit ton of shit. Yeah, there's like so that. many references. It is Casablanca. Casablanca. I think I have seen Casablanca. Casey Blanca. Casey Blanca. Casablanca. Casablanca. You know. I will say, um, <laughs> it's probably a movie that I've seen chopped up. Like I watched okay. like twenty minutes of it with my parents when I was young, and then maybe a few years later I saw like the next half an hour, and then I saw like the whole second half at one point, or just the beginning. It's one I've seen kind of like that. Um, it's another one that's long. It's long, it's very slow paced, it's very dated. Uh, I watched it when I had less patience in life. Like, when I was like 14, <laughs> so I was like, I don't know. Um, but it's fine. Yeah. Sounds of Lambs. Uh, oh. I don't know if I've seen... No. But another one that I've seen like lots of just based on references and clips and uh, like I know. But I don't know if I've ever watched it in its entirety. Um, you should. Yeah. It's one of those movies that's like so suspenseful, so like creepy and shit yeah it's, yeah it's a very good movie yeah so it's one of the best performances a uh, villain performance of all time absolutely now here's an interesting one american history x i don't know it really okay so this is another nazi one <laughs> shout out can we get another nazi counter actually you got tom hanks and then nazi counter <laughs> how, yeah. many, how many how <laughs> many it's like five um <laughs> no but it's all good we love tom Han- we love tom hanks we don't love nazis that's true we don't want to count the nazis count tom hanks not nazis yeah <laughs> if you want to be happy in this life <laughs> yeah american history x is an interesting one it's a little bit of a slow burn but it's mm-hmm. a very deep character piece in this very flawed man who um was a nazi and kind of embraced that uh white power lifestyle I actually was he a nazi I th- he wasn't Technically, he was a Nazi. He was like a neo-Nazi, you know what okay. I mean? Not a Nazi, because it kind of takes place a little more so in like the 90s. Right. But it was very interesting. It's very, one of the better character pieces to come out in the last uh, like 25 years, whenever it came out. The Terminator. Classic. Classic. I, I like The Terminator more than ter- Terminator 2. Uh, yeah, I like them both a lot, honestly. Yeah. It's funny, I think they only include, like, the first movie in this. They don't include, like, you know... Toy- a sequel, yeah. Toy Story 2. Because they have The Godfather, they don't include The Godfather 2. They don't but, have space But for what that. about Indiana Jones 2? I hate... I know, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> like, you mean three, right? You mean three, you mean, right? I meant four. You, you... <laughs> <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. We're going nowhere. Apocalypse Now. I haven't seen Apocalypse Now, but... Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. It was uh, better than I thought it would be. Okay. I, don't know, I can't really explain it. It's just better than I thought it would be. Memento. Ooh. Memento. What do you feel about it? Um, another one that I may not have seen the whole movie of. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just here to make, I'm just here to make Travis cry. Please tell me you're lying. <laughs> I'm lying. I love Memento. Okay, thank you. Um, anyways, <laughs> next up. No, the thing with do Memento, you gotta you gotta watch it all in fucking succession because it's yeah. very important. The sequencing yeah. of that movie is very important. It, well, it, and I felt that I think it was one that I walked in on like my parents watching, and I was like, Fair enough. I don't know what's happening, but also why it, does it feel weird? So, yeah. yeah, like very much so. Uh, I think Memento is one of the best scripts of all time. Okay, yeah, I think it in every sense of the word. Yeah, one of the best scripts of all time. Braveheart. Oh, classic. That is a movie I have not seen. You know what? Three. I haven't seen Braveheart. That's crazy. And I have seen, uh, you know, that's when I watched again with my parents when I was little. Um, you know what? To be fair, I say classic. I remember the scene where he's running with the sword. Like, ah, yeah. And I don't know if I could tell you Anything any else? other scenes yeah. that, <laughs> that I remember seeing. Screen. This is like over three hours. It's is it? As fuck, isn't it? Probably fell asleep during that actually, one. Too. Maybe yeah. actually. I don't know. I can't back that up. Um, yes. but Braveheart, Braveheart. It. and you saw it a long time ago. A long time ago, you walked in on your parents watching a movie. I. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very common theme. Seven Samurai. 
Oh, I know Seven Samurai. I have not seen it. It's a Japanese. Yes, I've heard film. of it. Very um, old. Very old. Kind of, kind of, kind of holds up. Like there's some pacing issues and some like sure. datedness of the thing, but the the story and characters are there. Mm-hmm. You know, they they translate very well. That's good. Scarface. I haven't seen Scarface. I wasn't allowed to watch Scarface when I was younger. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Listen, like the some of the appeal of Scarface is being like, "Oh, it's so fucked up, dude." It's like this shit that happens in this movie is so fucked up, you know. But at the same time, I didn't need to see any of that. <laughs> I felt like I, I didn't. I was watching it with my mom. I didn't want to see any of that. I it was it was when we were older. I was like, yeah, it was like yeah. a year ago. But it, like, I didn't like it. Crap. Yeah, I didn't like Scarface. Oh wow. Though. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like it. I mean, like it's fine. Mm. Like actually, you know what? I didn't like Scarface. That's what I'll say about it. Like it, it goes for a very specific vibe. It nails that vibe. It's in that vibe. And it's not your vibe. Not my That's vibe. That's fair. Taxi Driver. Now this is close to the Scarface vibe, but done very, very much better. Very differently. I think, I think there's actually a, two a kind of parallels you can see in Scarface and Taxi Driver of this mm-hmm. kind of unlikable character, but like he has that energy that you're like, okay, I, I don't know. I can kind of root for you. I, it's just way better in Taxi I Driver. I don't think I'd seen Taxi Driver until after Joker. Really? Yeah. You know, there's a, there's a movie that's even way more similar. To well, well I know it, uh, King of Comedy, right? King, did you watch that movie? I have not watched King of Comedy. You definitely watch King of Comedy. That's that's a pretty good movie. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know something about that movie. To be honest, the the editing is a little weird sometimes, but it, it goes for that. It's, it's trying kind of, to throw you off. Yeah, it is trying to throw throw the audience off, but um, it was good. Mm. I, I like King of Comedy. It was, and it was it's also Scorsese and De Niro. Yes, Scorsese and De Niro. Yeah. And like he, yeah, and then they brought him back specifically because they referenced King of Comedy and yeah. Joker a lot. Hey, listen, man. It's very similar to fucking King of Comedy. Joker's, yeah. yeah. And I've heard a lot of people say, like, you know what? I like Joker. I watch King of Comedy. I like Joker a little less, which is crazy, because it's less original than you think. Yes. No, I feel that. But, eh. The Grand Budapest Hotel, which I... It does absolutely deserve to be on here. Yeah, I love that yeah. movie. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, oh, my goodness. What's his name? Help Ralph Fiennes? No, I'm just thinking of the, Wes the director. Wes Anderson, yeah. Uh, Wes Anderson movies just hit different <laughs> yeah they do they do they're just um very aesthetically pleasing what Wes Anderson it's not movie? for everyone i've heard a couple no. people just like i don't like wes anderson i'll be like what <laughs> i was well, like what one wes anderson what do you movie, not like about wes anderson one wes anderson movie that is such a just such a like uh i'm just sitting there and experiencing is that the fantastic mr fox yeah i just like i'm just I like I started that the other day like, i was like that's beautiful yeah fargo now i've not seen the original fargo oh that's a great movie mm. and then there's a tv movie. show based on it too right Ah, which is also really good. Yeah, okay. the uh, first three seasons of that are very good. I mean, I, I, after this, after this podcast, I'll make sure to write down every movie you haven't seen. Perfect. Tell you to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my homework. Every single movie you haven't seen is in a list now. <laughs> um, oh god. I guess. It's, I guess it's kind of like an indie film because I've never heard it. Yeah, uh, the Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, American Psycho. Ooh. I don't think I've seen American Psycho, but I know all of the clips from it. It's one that I see all the time. Pop culture. Pop culture, yeah. Simpsons, baby. Simpsons. Yeah, American Psycho is worth watching. It's Wasn't American thing. Psycho like referenced? Is that the one with the rose petals? That's American Beauty. No, I'm missing it up. Okay. American Psycho is the one where he's like cutting somebody. Oh, is that um, Christian, Christian Bale? Bale? Yeah, you're right. Just like, this is the peak of the 90s. That's when they were like in their feng shui and he's just like going off and he's in <laughs> yeah. like a poncho and he's like, yeah, murder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Alien. Ooh, Great I movie. don't think I've seen Alien because I, again, it was another one that I wasn't allowed to when I was younger and there are certain ones that I just haven't caught up to yet. Come on, man. Alien and Aliens are definitely worth watching. Yeah. Beaten it. Touchables. French movie. Don't know it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen it? Uh, yeah, I've seen okay, it. Okay, so good. Guardians of the Galaxy. Of course. Kill Bill. Yep. A Beautiful Mind? No. Beautiful Mind's pretty good. Yeah, okay. It's pretty, uh, it's a good character piece, like before. Fair enough. Good character piece. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Okay, yes. Wait, you start saying a subtitle, I'm like, it's not the first one, right? It's the first Pirates one. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides is what it said. Was one <laughs> That's of the best so odd that it says can. that. The, the the last one. Like, yeah. they're just saying, I don't even know what it's called. Do you... Hey, I'll give you $5 if you can tell me what Pirates of the Caribbean 5 is called. I want $5. Um, Curse of the Black Pearl. Second one is Dead Man's Chest. Yes. Third one is... I'll just give it to you. It's At World's End. 
So yes, thank you. And then uh, on and Stranger, Stranger Tides. Tides. Yeah, and then... Nope, not... It's something curse. Hey, I'm going to be honest. Uh. I don't know either, because <laughs> I've lost track of this fucking franchise a long time ago. There could be a sixth one. I don't know. Uh, it is... So you missed out on the chance for $5. But it is... Dead Men Tell No Tales. <laughs> <What's the name? laughs> okay. Who cares? Anyways, moving on. Um, uh, Goodfellas. Yeah. And Departed, right next to each other, two Scorsese movies. This is... This, uh, this list know. likes Scorsese, huh? I don't know, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I really fuck with that, uh, that, that ordering there. Putting two Scorsese's right next to each other, really? Okay, whatever. Yeah. Well, I have not seen though. Departed. Um... Bro. <laughs> Depart is some good shit. Bro. Oh, okay, okay. Depart is some good shit. Oh, I haven't seen this one. <gasps> Hachi, a dog's tail. Nor have I. Yeah, I'm... not a clue what that is. That's four. I'll watch that. Spirited Away. Yeah, beautiful Ooh, movie. I didn't know if they would bring uh, Miyazaki into this. Hey, I hope there's another Miyazaki movie in this. Better be. Uh, there's another one I like a bit more. Is it Miyazaki? Uh, Which one is? Remember. Just, just, just tell me. I'm, uh, I'm referring to Princess Mononoke. That's a uh, that that's Miyazaki? a Miyazaki. That's is, definitely a Miyazaki. Is it Miyazaki? I'm pretty sure. Okay. My favorite's Howl's Moving Castle. Okay, I haven't seen that one yet. Oh, that's good. I don't even know Princess Mononoke. This think, is why I'm whispering because I don't have the confidence. Uh, I, I, to I have no I not a clue. I also think uh, you know what's really trippy about uh, Howl's Moving Castle is that uh, the main guy Howl is Christian Bale. No, pretty, I'm pretty sure. Way. Yeah. Can we keep a Christian Bale tally as well? <laughs> I can't have that many fingers. Is there a movie with Christian Bale and Tom Hanks? They're probably... You would think. Dark Knight Rises? No. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey. Quick, quick shout hey. out. Th- we got a brilliant idea for you, Hollywood. Yeah. Also, Imagine huh? there is. Yeah, there is. Like, hey, or just dude. like completely overlooking it. And it's bad. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Harry Potter won. Mm, the yeah, okay, Show. fine. Hey, this is a movie I watched just recently. I rewatched it. Pan's Labyrinth. Oh, Pan's Labyrinth freaks me out. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. But I will say, um, it grew on me the second a, time. A, a, a quick, I don't know if I, I love it, but I don't know if I put Harry Potter on this list. But maybe it's the like, you know, maybe it's the legacy of. It all leaves an amazing. I, w- I would put Harry Potter three on this list. Mmm, that's more. Yeah, and it's just, that's why it's hard with like a movies with multiple with franchise. Yeah, I mean, you like, get lucky. Will be like Harry Potter three. You get lucky with like Indiana but, Jones because the first one is obviously the, the best. best yeah. So. That's true. That's true. A- actually, that's debatable. Oh, you say the third? Yeah, man. I, I, I'd, I'd, I'd give you that. I'd give Maybe. you that. You know, Sean Connery, a little dynamic there. I do love you get Sean a little Connery. bit of young indie at the beginning of the film. You know what the Very fourth cool. movie, uh, I will say, in in the in the silver lining of the fourth you movie. defend the fourth movie? No, we no I'm kidding. There's aspects of it. You know what the fourth movie did for me? It made me appreciate the second movie more. <laughs> oh god it made the second movie seem less bad i'm like it wasn't the fourth movie though <laughs> wow damn that's saying something yeah i remember i was looking at my old uh facebook like uh fucking random uh posts mm. on my wall and and i'm just like you know the thing i like most about indiana jones 2 is that it's a prequel and i can just get away with skipping it because it came before the first one so i can just go one to three that's the best thing about it reservoir dogs yep uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So. That that goes there. Goodwill Hunting. Yeah, that was one of the two that I wanted on this list. Oh yeah, it was. Bing, 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 bing. I bing. love Goodwill Hunting yeah. with all my heart. I love Goodwill Hunting as well. One of my favorite movies. Very uh, um, heart filled movie. I mean, Robin Williams is one of my favorite actors of all of time. So that's you know I'm biased, but yeah, yeah well over halfway through. Interstellar. Yeah, I mean, yeah. okay. Okay. I don't, I don't know if it's one of the top. I wouldn't put it as one of the top I 100 would, movies. It, I think it has one of the, I would maybe even say the top 20 or even top 10 most emotional moments in any movie. Fair. I, I think that that one fucking scene, if you haven't seen it, it's with Matthew McCann- McConaughey crying. Is It makes me cry every single time I watch the movie. It's so emotional and it's warranted. Like that, that fucking, but the movie itself is, it, maybe I'm comparing it to a, Christopher Nolan's other movies like right. Dark Knight and in- in- Inception and Prestige, yeah, yeah. Even, which already have been named. This list likes <clears throat> Christopher Nolan and Scorsese <laughs> and Scorsese and Tarantino because Django Unchained is also on this list. Hey, uh, Vertigo. I've not. I know Vertigo. I've never seen it. I wasn't blown it's away. It's older, by right? It. Yeah, it's from the fifties. Yeah, 
Um, I wasn't blown away by it, but it was decent. Okay, cool. It was decent. It was good. Uh, the color design in that movie is very good. Mm. Train spotting. Ooh, haven't seen <clears throat> train spotting. I do recommend train spotting. Okay. Citizen Kane. Yeah, sure. I, is, yeah, I mean, I know so much about it. It's another one that's... You've seen in bits. In and bits, clips. pop culture, uh, references. I just know so much about it. I've never seen the full thing. But I mean, it's 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 Citizen Kane. It's what everyone goes to. It's like, well, it's not Citizen Kane. But... Um, yeah. And that's warranted. You know, that's that for the time, it was probably the best movie that came out. Yeah. Maybe if it's like it's 1930 fucking four or some shit or 1941. Mm. I can't even remember. Yeah. It's like I think it's like 1941 or 1940 around there. OK. Um, I think maybe beside like Wizard of Oz, which right. should be on this fucking that, list. It should be. Uh, that was another one. That was another one that was like, yeah, it was one of the best movies of that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Ooh, another one I know a lot about, haven't seen. Um, that's trippy, isn't it? It's beautiful. 1941 it, for Citizen Kane, by oh, the way. Oh, hey. Nailed it. Um, man. Wait, can, can you search up Leon the Professional? When did that come out? I guess with 93, but it might be like 91 or 92. Let's see. Place your bets. 93. 94. Really? Yeah. But a limited release in 1993? Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. Let me search this up. Hold on. Leon I the can, Professional. I could get away with this. I get away with limited this. release. <laughs> <laughs> shit, man. I'm just going to make this shit up. I'm going to edit the Wikipedia right <laughs> now. No, it's only saying 94 for me. No. If I could, if I could bring up... If I could bring up that... There was one show. It was in it. September of 94, so it was God late. God damn it. It was pretty late in 94. Yeah, yeah, it was 94. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, anyways. All right. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Finding Game Nemo. Four. Hey, fair enough. Uh, fair enough. Donnie Darko. Sure. I've never seen Donnie Darko, I know. Sure. Yeah. It's okay. Heard of it. Okay. Well, I yeah. would say it was a little better than okay. It was good. Okay, cool. Batman Begins. Yeah, you can't have that without Dark Knight. Dark Knight. I'd say Batman Begins is, is also an amazing movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel about Dark Knight Rises? Uh, also, we have the Born Identity. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, it, was, it was good too. Yeah, it was, you know, it was it's, good too. It was fine. It wasn't as good. Yeah, but it was good. Uh, Born Identity. Yes, makes sense. Yes, No Country for Old Men. I've never seen No Country for Old Men. It's a, also a slow burn, but yeah. it, I would recommend. That's my understanding. The directors of Big Lebowski. Yeah, went through with like True. a dark thriller that works. This is this is uh, the fucking fourth one I haven't seen. Okay. Followed by another one I also haven't seen. Oh, Cinema Paradiso. Not a clue. Uh, it's like an Italian movie from a long time ago. It's like kind of appreciating film, but it's also like the plot about this kid and his grandpa or something. something okay, like that. yeah, yeah. I, I might might have butchered that, but it's something like that. And also Dirty Dancing. I've seen Footloose. But oh, I seen Dirty, Dancing. Dirty Dancing. That's a, that's another one that I can I can tell you so just uh, tell you about via pop culture and references, you know, stuff like that. What do you have? You seen Footloose? Yeah, I've seen the original Footloose. What do you think? Um, you know what I've seen? I don't remember what, last time I saw the original. I saw the new one as well. And all I can tell you is that uh, I like the music. When I was young, I yeah. liked the music and I liked the Kenny dance. Kenny Loggins. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't really love the movie. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Yep. It's a good That's movie. a slow burn. <laughs> that is a slow burn. Lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. Don't know it. It's uh, it's it came out a little bit before Snatch. So it came out a little bit before <laughs> Snatch. It's from the same director. Yeah, a uh, guy Ritchie. Um, oh, I love guy Ritchie. And it's what? I love guy Ritchie. You can't say that without fucking not having seen Lock, stock, and two smoking barrels, especially yeah. Snatch. Yeah. Hey man, yeah. you don't love guy Ritchie. You're right. Get the fuck out of here. You're right. Um. Wait. Yeah, but was, guy Ritchie directed like. Gentleman, Sherlock Holmes. Oh, yes. Uh, are you thinking no, I'm, of somebody different? I'm thinking of somebody different. I'm I'm tripping. I do love, or I love, I do like Guy Ritchie. I've seen those movies. Uh, no, I'm thinking of someone completely different, and I'm Who messing you? it up. Edgar totally. Wright. I'm thinking of Edgar Wright. Wow, dude. How the fuck did I, I know that? Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. You, you were thinking about fucking like, Scott Pilgrim Scott, and, uh, and like, uh, Hot, Fuzz. Hot Fuzz and, and uh, uh, Baby Dead. Driver. Baby Driver, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. How did... You do that. <laughs> yeah, no, that was kind of weird, eh? <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I, I do that every once in a while. I'll just be like, this is what you're thinking of. And you're like, why? You yes, yes, say that? it was. Like, yo, literally somebody was just like, oh, what's that That guy? And I was like, Matthew Broderick. And he's like, what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was Matthew Broderick. But it was just like a context of something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was funny. Uh, million Dollar Baby. 
That is that's another Clint Eastwood, yeah. Uh, yes, he did direct that one, and he stars in it uh, with Hilary Swank and Morgan Freeman. Mm-hmm. I actually haven't seen that one either. I haven't seen that one. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't. I've seen some of the Old West, not all of them. Yeah. Monsters Inc. Never seen it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Requiem for a Dream. I haven't seen Requiem oh, for a Dream. Oh, buddy. Who directs that one? Darren Aronofsky. Buddy. Same director as Black Swan, which should be on here. Mm. Here, to be honest, I love Black Still Swan. Still haven't heard my other movie yet, so I'm a Okay, one. okay. Let's hope it comes up. Titanic. Yeah, all right. I'm sure. And Glorious Bastards, another Tarantino movie. Yep. Debatably, debatably is best. Not my favorite, but not I would favorite. understand not that my favorite. it's best. What is your favorite? Uh, Pulp Fiction. Oh, it is Pulp Fiction. Uh, honestly, and you know what my favorite is? It's a bit of a. It's a bit of a. I really Jack love Man? Django Unchained. Oh, Django Unchained. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. That's a, that's most people's favorite. Yeah. Okay. Cool, I would cool. say yeah. Uh, also, Kill Bill is another one. Yeah. That's I mean, they're all good. Well. That's on here as well. Jackie Brown, not on here. I have I not seen that. Jackie Brown. I like Jackie Brown. It's the only one I haven't seen. I've described this to other people without hearing this. This is how I describe it, and I think it's good. If you see, if you do see Jackie Brown, I think you'll understand. Pulp Fiction is like cocaine, and Jackie Brown is like weed. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's just more chill. Yeah. Before Sunrise. Now, this shit. I haven't seen it. I fucking love this movie. Okay. This movie... It's like not really a rom. It's not really a rom com. It's more so just a romance with a little bit of humor in there. Uh, it's my favorite romance movie. Wow, for sure, like by far. Uh, cool. And it's part of a trilogy. The first one is Before Sunrise. The second one is Before Sunset, and the third one is Before Midnight. Now let me tell you, this is one of the most emotional fucking like I care about these characters so much trilogy I've ever seen. Besides, right. like Toy Story, but like. It's it's just so beautiful. It's like each movie came out nine years apart from each other. Holy moly. Yeah, and if another one comes out next year, it'll make it nine, but I don't think it's coming out. It's just a great trilogy. It's, okay. it's beautiful. I actually have it on Blu-ray. It's outside. Yeah, I recommend that. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Despite say. Rocky. Yeah, fair. Blade Runner. Yes. Sure, I understand that. Uh, yeah, I get it. It's another slow one, but yeah. You get it. You get it. Uh, Into the Wild. I don't think I've seen the Into the Wild movie. I, I, I saw it somewhat recently, like maybe like a year ago. And you know what? It was really good. Okay. It was really good. It was really a spiritual movie. You know, kind of like, a, oh, wow, that kind of made me think about life a little different, you know? So it was one of those movies. It was okay, good. fair enough. Yeah. It was good. It was good. Okay, we're wrapping up. We're on the last row. Ooh. V for Vendetta. Well, another one of my favorites. Um, Very political. Yes. Yes. I just liked it when he said the V stuff. No. <laughs> Yo, you know what? I think your second movie is on here. I just glanced. And good, good, I good, think good. It, I think it. I don't know. I, we'll I see, could be we'll wrong. Let's see. Let's see. Logan. Nice. Yeah, good I for know. Logan making yeah. it on the list. This might have been. That, that might be the newest movie that's on yeah, here. Yeah, that's a. Uh... I think out of all the ones. Yeah. Well, let me double check. That came out in 2017. So I think that's. I haven't heard most... anything more recent than that. Yeah. I think that's the most recent one. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything from the last... Actually, no, I'll ask that at the end. I think, I think that's the most recent one. Yeah. Which is right. crazy. So this poster was clearly made after Logan. Yeah. Um, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Oh, Believe they it or not, did it. They did it. Did they do that with anyone they else? They didn't do that. Uh, Any other movie. No other ha- movie. No other movie that has multiple... So they're saying Harry Potter 1 is better than Harry Potter 3. What the heck, guys? And uh, that, that's uh, complete bullshit. Um. Hey, man. Okay. Go they on. Just, they're, they're missing spot. What other movie is better? Mad Max, which let's be honest, Mad Max Fury Road is way better. I was gonna say way better. I'm gonna write in here. They, <laughs> you, you meant, meant Fury, Fury Road, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. That's what you meant. Amadeus. I haven't seen Amadeus. Great movie. Okay. Great movie. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful music. Uh, great performances. Great direction. Great writing. It's a great. It's a great movie. Okay. Great movie. Maybe even a ten out of ten. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I might say. Truman Show. Love Truman Show. Near and dear to my heart. That's what I might might have thought the other one was. There's it four was, movies oh, left. Oh, no. I don't think any of them are your movie. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, but yeah, oh, Truman Show. Top 10 movie, I would say. Airplane. Oh, love the original in term, Airplane. In, yeah, in terms of comedy movies. Yeah. yeah. Sure I'd put Leslie Nielsen. Don't call me Leslie. <laughs> um... <laughs> 
The Great Dictator by Charlie Chaplin. I haven't seen that. Oh, I haven't, but I know of it. Like, yeah, Charlie Chaplin, lots of his stuff. Yeah, uh, uh, The Gold last. Rush. Yeah. I love that one. Mm. That one might be my favorite. I've also seen City Lights. Dances with the Potatoes. Yeah, it's it's great. That's a great movie. Jaws. Oh, yeah. Have I seen all of Jaws? I feel like I saw some of it when I was younger mm. and they got really scared. Maybe just clips and shit. Yeah. Uh, and the last movie would be Groundhog Day. Brilliant. Which I saw a very, very, very long time ago. Yeah, I've seen it more recently. I love Groundhog Day. That's it. That's it. <laughs> the list is done. Dude, um, my second movie poster. was not on there. I'm very upset. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Also should have been that on there. Been on, that would have been on mine. Uh, the Princess Bride. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's my... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... I mean, yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 It's, just, it's just like 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, no, I agree. Hey, listen. I like The Princess Bride a lot. For some reason, it didn't hit me in the way that it hit everyone else. I think maybe fair. nostalgia was a little added on top for everyone else, because I only saw it when I was like fucking 17, 18. Yeah. It took a real, really long time for me to watch it. But I liked it. I saw it was going for it. Yeah. I, um, I have seen... Yeah, yeah. Fuck this list. Tom Hanks. We had four. Um, four Tom Hanks? Four Tom Hanks. For sure. Pretty sure, Can yeah. Can you name them? Uh, there was what? Saving Private Ryan, yeah. Toy Story, yeah. Forrest Gump. Yeah. What was the last one? Do you remember what it was? Yeah. Oh, no. Toy it... Story, Saving Private Ryan, Forrest Gump, and yeah, I remember. It was the first letter. <laughs> G. There's one you haven't seen. But oh, remember. then I don't remember. The Green Mile. Right, Green Mile, Green Mile. <laughs> you know another movie I would have put on here with Tom Hanks in it? Um... Oh, I, I love Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is actually my favorite actor of all time. I'll tell you that. Because it's also like, it's also because he has an amazing personality. I would have put it. Uh, I would have put um, Castaway. Yeah, I love Castaway. Yeah, Castaway is a good movie. I think Scott Pilgrim should be on. Should yeah, yeah, yeah. On here. Um, uh, but otherwise, you know, that's fine. Sure, yeah, they want to put people onto the. Most also, uh, but yeah, movie. I was gonna say Logan. Yeah, Logan's on here. That's crazy. Princess Bride is probably the movie I've seen more than any other movie in my entire life. That's uh, fair. Yeah. Um, is there any movie from the past four years? That oh, that would, should, that deserves should. to be on here. That's a great question. Yeah. Ooh, The Favorite. I don't know why I thought that first. I think okay. that's an amazing movie. I haven't seen that. Um, oh, what do you think? Uh, Parasite? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Is that one of the top 100? Eh, it's but not, good. not Logan. Logan is one of the top 100 movies of all time. I, so I like would a, put Parasite Yeah. On. I okay. love Parasite. Parasite, The Favorite. Uh, good Time. I don't I'll be honest, know, good I fucking time. love that movie. Amazing movie. It's an okay. amazing thriller. It's, it stars Robert Pattinson, and he plays this sh very shady guy. And uh, I won't explain much, but basically he's a shady guy. He's in a very desperate situation, and he's trying to get out of it. <laughs> All right. And hey, man, it's great. <laughs> like it, Let me tell you, Good Time was my favorite movie the, that year. It kind of gets better every time I watch it, and I, and I love it. I hold okay. it very close to my heart. Um, Mother, uh, I actually maybe not one of the best movies mm -hmm. that came out in the last few years, but that very uh, impactful, very great movie. Um, any for you? Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog. No. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this was just the last one I saw before the. Um, like, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, actually, I, unrelated. Like I'm making a joke, but I was uh, I was thinking, what other movies do I see? And I, obviously, Dune came up, and that led me to lead to Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings could have been on there. Top 100 of all time? It was. It was. Mm -hmm. Did we say Lord of the Rings? Mm -hmm. Never mind. <laughs> when did we say Lord of the Rings? Yeah, it, was just, it just said the Lord of the Rings. Okay, cool. They didn't even say like... Which one? <laughs> yeah, which one? Make up your mind. Yeah. They also just said Star Wars, so... They, that is the first I movie. feel like somebody somebody made this list. They're like, I'm going to specifically slight Indiana well, Jones too. Price, they they should have just said Harry Potter. Like, yeah. if they, they just said Lord yeah. of the Rings. But at the same time, they couldn't just say Indiana Jones. Oh, my God. Think yeah, about that encompasses. True. They're like, I fuck, the, the guy who made the poster is like, I hate two so much. I'm going to specifically but... add both others. They both get their own slot. I need I need my cheat code, which is IMDb. Honestly, I think the better way to do lists like this is like top ten from this year. Okay, you know my I mean? rating. Anyways. Can you name any? I'm trying to think of all the movies I've seen. There's in the a last lot of movies that like came out in the early 2010s that I would. <sighs> Frozen two, no. <laughs> Frozen two, Maleficent two. <laughs> Fuck that movie. You know, there's oh my goodness, not a ton. I'm, yeah. I'm seeing a lot of. I mean, I think this is just because it's rated because like it's all the tens I have, but mm -hmm. it's um, oh Blade Runner twenty forty nine, 
Would you put that on there? Would you put that on there instead of the Blade Runner, the original? I might. Yeah. I think I like it a bit more. I think I do too. It's a little less dated, you know. Yeah, I mean that's, that's... the thing about it. It's just a little less dated. Although I do Not... love Harrison Ford. Mm, neither are perfect movies. Um, this is 2016, but a rival. Mm. Faux show uh, is what I put on there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, Get Out. I probably oh, put Get Out on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That's um, yeah. It's when did that kind of out? a cult classic? 2017, the so, beginning of 2017. So it should have been within consideration 100%, for whoever the hell made this. They just this. didn't. They, they just didn't. didn't. Marriage Story. Oh, holy fuck, dude! That yeah, Marriage Story and Parasite. That's the right next to each other. Both performances from Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson that I was not suspecting dude that changed my life like you realize like marriage story fucking changed my life i was like that was brutal yeah eighth grade oh is that the bo Bo burnham directed yeah i haven't seen it but i want to see that oh you should yeah you should yeah i I was very fucking like caught up in that movie i was like damn this is very very nice well no i think that was a great discussion of the best movies that came out this year, leading yeah. into a shitty poster that made us talk about what movies, oh, yeah. best movies we've seen of all time. Yeah. But uh, anyways, hey, thanks for coming. Thanks yes. for talking movies, all thanks things for uh, me. cinema. It was a good time. I assume you never want me back. Uh, I probably will never have you back. That, that makes sense. I, that yeah. tracks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey, thank you so much. Yes, and thank, uh, you. thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, anything that stuck out to you. What's What do you think you would put on top 100 movies that came out in the last four years. That's That's a good, leave it off on that. Yeah. All right. Till next time. See ya.